Hi there, welcome to Floating in Books. Today's video is not going to be a book video, but a tour of my skincare cabinet. So if you'd like to stay tuned, because I remodeled my bathroom and kitchen over the summertime, and I'm super happy that I now have a dedicated spot for all of my skincare. That was like the dream. So now that I have my dream skincare cabinet, I thought I could show you what I keep inside it. So let me cut to my bathroom, which is very echoey, so I do apologize but let's, let me show you what I've got going on in my skincare cabinet. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna see the remodel, I did vlog it, but I posted it over on my other channel, so I'll leave that link down below. So welcome to my skincare cabinet. The acoustics in here are not the best because truth be told, this is a bathroom that is completely tiled, so the uh, sound acoustics you're just gonna have to bear with me for a minute, I guess. Um, and this is, of course, one of, one of the main things that I really wanted when I redid my bathroom was a nice like, cabinet that I can hold my skincare in. I used to have open shelving, which really wasn't ideal. And the skincare that I use the most is sort of down here, uh, easy access. Uh, then we've got some cleansers over here. Then I've got backups and sunscreens over there. Then right there at the top is where I have all of my backup moisturizers, face masks, those kind of things. And then I keep smaller things such as serums, face, face oils, and eye creams and travel sizes in that smaller section here. And then this is like larger things that I also need every single day, such as my toothbrush and dry shampoo and all that jazz. So let me just go through it really quickly to show you and give you an idea of what's going on here. Um, I think I'm just gonna try and see if I can zoom you in as much as possible. The angle isn't ideal, I'm not gonna lie, but hopefully I can show you as best as I can. So this is my sort of everyday section of this, um, of this skincare cabinet. So I've got my cleansing balm to take off my makeup, my second cleanse, I've got some sunscreens here, uh, I've got a little tester, like tester moment here, some Q-tips and like, um, uh, cotton pads to take off makeup, but I don't tend to use that. I tend to use muslin cloths for taking off makeup. This is just for like really, really quick cleanups and those kind of things. And then here I have my daytime and nighttime skincare routine. So I just have a cream here that helps with like sensitive skin and all that. I've got eye cream, which I use every single day. And then these are sort of like my daytime products. So I've got the Lush Aroma, the Hyaluronic Serum from uh, Good Molecules is right there. And then I have the Sika Plast from uh, La Roche-Posay at the moment as a daytime moisturizer. I mean, I've been using it for nighttime as well on like lazy days where I don't want to do too much. And then off to the right, which I don't think you can see, so let me put it front and center. I'm currently using the Bio Del Mal, which is a Dutch skincare brand, a uh, uh, PCLE fluid. Um, which sadly has a lot of alcohol in so it kind of my skin had to get used to it at first But it really gave me very uh, teary eyes at first I'm gonna use it up because it is a nice enough product, but not worth a repurchase in my book and then I use that with the herbivore uh, emerald uh, Face oil which is supposed to be very moisturizing. I've only started using it like in the past week or so So I can't say too much about it just yet and then I have the Ordinary's Niacinamide in here as well, and then the eye cream I double up day and night. Uh, and that is actually the also by Biodemo, which is from their sensitive look range. So I think that may be better. So then if we go up one shelf, that's mainly where I keep cleansers, and most of these are backups. I'm currently only using the travel size from the body shop. This is their chamomile cleanser, which I use when I travel. Angels on bare skin I keep in my shower, but I keep whatever is left over in here. And then I have the uh, Garnier Micellar Water here, which I use for, again, quick cleaning up, or you know, if I want to change an eye look, I use that. And everything else here is unopened. So I've got some of the Body Shop bits here. These are some of my favorite products. A backup of the Garnier, and then my favorite Micellar Water, the Bioderma, which I can't wait to get to once I use that one up. And then this is what the top shelf looks like. So these are the Dr. Bronner's baby soap. Ooh. So these are the Dr. Bronner's baby soap and these I use for cleaning brushes. 
that I have a backup of the aroma and a bunch of good molecule stuff is living up here because I accidentally was sent my order twice from Beautylish. So I ended up with all these products like doubling up in my skincare cabinet, which is why they're sitting there. And then I just have backups for sunscreen. So I have my favorite La Roche-Posay ones, and then I've got some body sunscreens up there as well. And this is what the second part of the cabinet looks like. So these are all mainly moisturizers uh, from like the Cetaphil, where is it? From the Cetaphil over here all the way till this vitamin C moisturizer. These are all moisturizers and as you can see these are double stacked. Some of those are favorites that I have backups uh, from uh, that I bought when you know because I like them so much or because I could get a deal and other things are things I want to try. Then I have some like retinol kind of products because I'm trying to get into retinol but it's still sort of mind-boggling to me. Then I have some like moisturizers in jars that are over here and they're usually a bit more moisturizing so I think of those as like nighttime moisturizers. And I've got like vitamin C's um, and a face mask sitting right there, all the way to the right. So those are all like overnight masks or whatever. I'm not a big masker, so that's why I don't have too many of those. And do we want to know what's what's here exactly? So I've got Inky List uh, Peptide Moisturizer, the Body Shop CBD Moisturizer, but underneath that we have the Lala Retro from Drunk Elephant. Uh, then the retinols is A330, uh, which is from France, which you can get at the French drugstore. And then I have one from Good Molecules and the Bacuccio, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but from the Inky list, which is like a retinol alternative for sensitive skin. My favorite Umbriolis, um, the vitamin C moisturizer from the body shop I really like. La Roche-Posay uh, Hydraphase, Hydraphase. Is one of my favorites, Lano Lin, which is which was gifted in a like goodie bag that I got with a purchase. Some more Lush Rolla Roche Posay, Aven, E45, and then uh, CeraVe and Cetaphil is all there. Um, so I think that's it. And vitamin C wise, I have one from the Inky List um, and one from the Ordinary. So this is perhaps a bit difficult to see, but here on the right side of the shelf, so over here. I have serums and face oils, again a couple of favorites, but also a couple of things I want to try out. So some essence bits that were new for fall winter and one from the body shop that I haven't tried. But the B oil from The Ordinary, the vitamin E uh, face oil, the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate and uh, The Ordinary's Buffet Serum. Those four are all favorites that I've repurchased over time. Then I have some eye creams over here, and a lot of these I haven't tried because they were in that same goodie bag as the Lana Lynn um, moisturizer, so I don't know anything about those products. I do know that the Kiehl's Avocado Eye Treatment is my favorite. Um, so that one is up there because I love it, and another favorite is lying <laughs> right here because um, I don't think you can see it, but this is the vitamin E eye cream from the body shop. Those I love. And then I just have some minis right here from Pi, which I've only just recently reviewed. By the way, if you want to see reviews on a lot of the skincare, I write skincare reviews over on the blog every Friday. So it's sometimes a mix of perfume, fragrance, and skincare, but all of my skincare reviews go up on Friday. I've reviewed hundreds of skincare products in my time, so I kind of know. And this is already the final shelf. These are, this is again a shelf I use a lot. I, as you can see, I've got like uh, some ele uh, electrical points here for charging. I've got some like medicine, deodorant, mouthwash, toothpaste, and dry shampoo. It's the boring bit. And I took my toothbrush out because you could just see the tip of it. Ooh. You could just see the tip of my toothbrush when I was filming the other shelf. So I took out the toothbrush, but yeah, that's uh, that's what we've got going on here. Some hair ties and bobby pins and like random bits that go here. So that, my dear friends, is the skincare cabinet. I really hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Thank you very much for joining me today, and I hope to see you next week. I'll be back with a book video very, very soon, I promise. Bye! <laughs>